We'll see if it sees me right here. We've got to get around this room into this guy's office. I don't hear him. Oh my god. I wonder if that was the key card inside that room. I didn't even look. I'm too nervous. This dude is gonna eat me. Oh my god. Oh shit. Is that? I want a whole bottle of that. Guys, I don't like. Mm -mm. <laughs> Start episode two and my freaking heart's pounding. Oh god. Oh my god, I hate this. All right, sounds like you went into the vent. Investigate rooms A26, A29, and C21. Oh my god. Dude, this dude is going to kill me so many times. We're going to go back this way.
It's gotta be through here. Which means we've gotta find the... Oh my god, guys. found me. I don't know where to go. Can't tell, it feels like you went up. I don't remember the name of the rooms. It was like what? A29. I don't want to use that. map right there.
Yes. Oh my god. Is that him? Holy crap. Now we gotta get back to that dude. Guys, gals. Eat that. Jerk. I really think that door just opened. He's one of the vents. This is insane. But how do we know if we can go back to him if this door right here was shut? Maybe because we have this key card? He is just up and down, up and down. grab his tail Please, 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 please. <gasps> no. God, he's gonna see me.
Damn you, Coleman! You knew that thing was here! Now, that's unfair. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Now, the passcode. 1702, okay? Now, let's get down to the dispensary. Of course, of course. A promise is a promise. This I'm dude is a jackass. Through. I'm going to step into the other room to punch the code in and prime the elevator. Then we can use the key card to take the elevator down. What do we do? Do I go down there with him? There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. You're a freaking jerk. Oh God. Where's the elevator? Okay, right here. It's just right there. Why was that so hard to do? I'm freaking sweating. Guys, I am so sweaty. I don't know why this is so stressful, but it's driving me crazy. the trauma kit. Probably need to make a couple things too. In the point where I can't pick stuff up. What is that? Oh! <gasps> What can we do with this? Oh no. Can we like... Can we like stun him? I need to talk to you. I've got a body up here that's part of a Marshall investigation. Female, late 30s, a chest wound. I have no idea how long Marshall waits. We'll want to keep her up here, but this is a highly sensitive situation. I'm going to need your discretion. And I'll also need you to trust me on this one. Come see me in my office. Lingard, senior medical officer. Frank, your concern about San Cristobal's lockdown has been noted, but I assure you an evacuation is 100% necessary and only a temporary measure. My priority is the welfare of the living, while you seem more preoccupied with the dead. If you're worried about power fluctuations, more temperature, and the condition of the corpses, just adjust the coolant delivery system. Just get out of there ASAP. And guard. Activate the cooling system. Cold room inaccessible due to extreme temperature. Uh... 
I don't know. It being here. Oh, jeez. I'm telling you, girl, I'm feeling it for you right now. I know it's gold. Access rewire. Vent access. Ah. Uh. Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in our office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know what to do. Can we shut him in there? Assuming this is the access vent that was shut. Guys, I'm telling you, please. I do not want to see this thing. Inside a vent. Oh 
we're in like a kitchen. I want to figure out how to use this stun gun, but I'm worried it's like it takes ammo. Oh god, he can drop down in here. Message for Lingard on her return. I prep the patients in the trauma ward for transportation as best I can before wait locks the place down. I'm going upstairs to the psychiatric ward to make sure there are no stragglers. The dispensary is now empty. Everything San Cristobal has to offer in terms of first aid and medicine is with you or elsewhere on the station. I'm hoping you'll bring back good news. Morley. Death certificate. Foster. Cause of death is classified. Okay. There's no audio. There's a report. We must. This must be Lingard's office. Oh. This is Lingard, senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to. I want to stay. I have been placed under duress with regards to the patient zero. And Ransom, Seekson's head of operations, he... He made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God. God. Oh, me. That woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. She started it all. All right, so we got to do now. Still looking for that trauma kit. There's no one in here.
He's in the vents. There we go. Okay. Oh, a Molotov. Molotov for you people who like to pronunciate your vowels. Okay, let's just read this before he comes in here. Dr. Morley, I don't care what you think you need to do. I want you out of San Cristobal now. You know what we've set up in there, and I'm truly sorry for what it means for the patients who can't be moved, but this is the only way. There will be no further warnings. Marshal waits. San Cristobal Medical has been locked down by the Colonial Marshals until further notice. Sevastopol's medical team are setting up field hospitals throughout Sevastopol to deal with the ongoing crisis. Locations to follow. Marshal waits. Old friend. Emergency valve shut off. I thought I missed something. It says code. Morley, I need you out of medical. We've set up shop in the habitation tower. People are fighting over supplies. We've got more injuries coming in than we have the meds to deal with them. And my team is depleted to say the least. I don't know how you'll break the lockdown, but if you need to access San Cristobal Central Wards, the code is 2505. Okay. Except for the fire. Probably shouldn't turn that off. Dr. Lingard, this is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Sikhs and Chief Executive. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't fall. Aren't we pals anymore? Oh well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshal Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find. I want in. No arguments. After all, how much does Waits really know about you? Not as much as your old friend here. And I bet he wouldn't be as understanding about black market med supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. What a jerk. Okay, well this, this dude, first off. Where's that? Passcode lock. Can we take that Jaguar? Samuels, I'm on my way. Wait, what? I don't know where to go. Oh. Maybe? Oh, thank God, dude. I didn't want to have to walk back there. <gasps> On second thought. Maybe we should go back there. It's got hell in here, Samuels. Oh. Hear somebody. Oh, there's people in here. Or androids, maybe? Who 
still gotta make it to the uh moving. Shut the door. Oh my god, he can jump in here too. <gasps> oh, it's patient zero. Samuels, I've got the meds. We're at the transit station outside medical reception. Ripley, we heard gunshots, and if we heard them, so did the creature. Medical reception. God, I don't like when he does that. He like turns all slow. Don't eat me. I think my heart stopped. back into the vent. Why hasn't he eaten him? Bang. I know you're here. I know you're human. I'm warning you, you're pissing off the wrong guy. Sounds like there's only one. Can't have gone far. Must have scared the wind.
I think I saw a sign saying this is medical reception. All his friends are laying you're everywhere. I know you're human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm warning you, you're pissing off the wrong guy. Gone, coward. Why do I have to deal with Can't multiple? Trust anyone. side. Guys, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm kind of winging it right now. Utility, error, incident, medical records, duty roster. This is by way of formal complaint, station medical. I do not want to be attended by an android. Okay. In guard attending, severe chemical burns, arms and legs. Dr. Cumlin attending, suspected brain damage caused by asphyxiation through manual strangulation. Nothing to do. Wasted bed. It's linker after the incident. The marshals want us to rope off medical. They're bringing in a team to find whatever was the patient was carrying. I told him it was fast, but they're convinced they can trap it. They've cut nets. Oh, God. Ambulance bay. Oh, there's a vent right there. But we're almost there. in here. <laughs> oh, boy. There's a dude down there. Christopher. 
Tuval Medical Facility recommends season medical assurance. Relief when you're far from home. Is this? go here and save it. Another one. I'm gonna do this real quick before something eats me. There's nowhere to hide either. Android? Ripley, are you okay? Ripley? Not now. All visiting corporate representatives must report to their minister Sir Kirby. What is he doing? going that way. We don't forget that little detail when you the I don't know what to do. It's like tripping out, man. Are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do? Oh. Dude, they're still in here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sitting here going around like I have no clue what to do. So now I gotta find a way to initiate something.
where to go now. Back all the way out. Medical reception. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be down here and I'm gonna get it eaten. an alien running around and all he cares about is shooting me. What to do? It just says escape. I'm probably gonna die multiple times, especially if that thing begins to chase me doing this. gotta be a vent or something. What am I missing? I think my health is going down. I don't know how to get out of here. It's got, there's something in there. covering Sevastopol's decommissioning. I was hoping to interview you about your experiences on the station. You know, the limited medical resources, the mental effects on patients in deep space, that kind of thing. But look, Doctor, 
I've heard there was some kind of incident in the hospital recently. No one seems to know anything. Doctor, if there's a major public health issue here on Sevastopol, people need to know. I'm freelance. Unbiased. I don't have any corporate affiliation. Let me be a friend to you. Call me. You can get up there. <laughs> Let's go. Wasted a whole medical pack because I couldn't find that stupid ladder. I guess now means we can do another one. We have no idea if this stumbo tunnel will even work on the dude. I guess we could try it next time he gets close to us. I mean, maybe it'll buy us a couple seconds, right? We gotta get past these a holes.
I ain't dying here. No way. Thank God. We got jumped. Looters. Can you get up here? We're trapped. Elevators out. I swear to God, if I'm about to walk into the same spot that I was and I just missed a turn. Is he insane? Peterson wants to know if you're fucking insane. Those things have started attacking people. <laughs> <laughs> it was a whole other event. Okay, Francis out. Asshole. Should be fine. Well, I'm sure as hell not making new best friends with one of those things. I see a vent right there. I don't know. So, what do we do now? Hold on. Let me think. What did you think that noise was we heard earlier? Sounded like an explosion. I figured that out, genius. Let's see. I mean, what caused it? Gotta be weights. I heard he's trying to kill that creature by setting traps. Remote charges, can you believe that? He's gotta be crazy. Maybe that's the answer. I heard that weights has some kind of safe haven up near the Galleria. We could go there. Did you not hear what I said? Crazy fuckers blowing stuff up. No thanks. We're running out of options. Then shut up and let me think. <coughs> All right, we're gonna at least build one of those. We're not alone. Something heard the shots. Give it a rest. I think I probably should have. Oh, there's a ladder right here. Listen up, Lord. Could be anywhere. Keep it together, huh? We can get through this. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. That thing can literally be anywhere, can it? For a spare part, take the sweat out of the cert. He's a working Joe requisition android. This thing's creeping me the hell out. I thought I hated seeds in before. Error. Report my head of synthetic development. I've just received schematics for the 120 Alpha 8. I don't know much. I don't know how much we paid our mole, but the seeks and board is going to need to shell out a hell of a lot more. I know this seems like old tech for WI, but it's beyond anything we're capable of. Our key executives and shareholders won't listen, but we need investment. The company and all its subsidiaries are light years ahead of us. 
knew the pay on this job was too good to be true. Smythe, I've been looking over your report on the Wayland Utani androids and your proposals for improving the working Joes. Now I appreciate the work you put in, but understand we live in different worlds. Yours is full of extrapolations and estimations. Mine has an executive suite in eight thousand dollar suits. Bottom line is, I've got to look after the money, buddy. I hired you because you were the cheapest, not the best. Find a way to bring those costs down, huh? Ransom out. What a jackass, dude. I'd punch someone in the face if they talked to me that way. And then I'd walk out. Oh, we updated our stuff, so maybe... I don't really know where we're going, guys. Glad I found you guys. We made it all the way across from them, though, right? Wait. Sorta. Of. saw it. So some people get away. If we see it, we just run. Your idea, not mine. Russell, here's my spill for potential clients today. What do you think? Spreading will hang me out to dry if they don't bite. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome to the buzzing heart of the Savants de Pole synthetic solution. Next up on your tour will be the Sinstech Spire and the Apollo Core itself. But first, an example of Android self-governance. When Apollo synthetics require a little more care than the repair wards can provide, they come here. We believe this is the first rollout of fully automated synthetic to synthetic medical intervention. No human expertise required, no costly human surgical training. All data is streamed directly from Apollo, and every incision recorded in its logs. This is the future, gentlemen. Tomorrow, together. There's something up in the vent! There was, I didn't see that, but there's nowhere to hide. That is a creepy smile. Sagan's son proved to be the backbone of colonial FTL expansion, providing reliable components that could carry humanity deep into space. In doing so, it grew, and by 2066, it was running vast manufacturer plants in London, Buenos Aires, Nagasaki, in the lunar shikward work. I can't say that word, guys. Uh, by 2071, the year the Sieg family sold its shares back into the company, its expansion remained exponential. Single-minded rivals looked on with envy as Sieg and Son became market leaders, manufacturing cars, chemicals, educational equipment, and building materials. Towards the end of the last century came a move that would forge our shared future. Sieg and Son became Siegson. We took on the name our customers had known us by for decades and we turn to face tomorrow together among the stars. Smythe, have you been practicing the script for the VIPs visiting today? We need to impress. Noise from upstairs says they're the last potential bidders for Sevastopol's working Joe rollout. If they go with Wayland Utani castoffs instead, the jobs seeds and have allocated for us back on Earth are on the line. Don't screw up. Spreading out. There's a lot going on. Find a way to open the door to the warehouse. Oh boy. Use the requisitions Android to access the components. What?
store power. Find a way to power up the requisition. Oh my god, guys. So that's creepy. <laughs> Oh, thank God. What is this? Security. Oh. So we gotta power up. We gotta power up, I'm assuming that android. We don't know how to do that. We gotta get into this. Betting. Now you've fired me, you'll have to descend from your ivory tower to pick up the slack. The guys decommissioning Sevastopol have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will need logging, so use the requisition android. Power him up, let him out of his box, and watch him go. Just like me, huh? By the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk in Gillen's bar. I guess you already know this, but it's been pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Smythe. <laughs> He messed everything up. Elevator out, audio, error. I just got another message from Spedding about the busted elevator outside the Android Examination Theater. My guy's got a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed in time for your VIP visit. If Spedding wants to be a priority, then maybe he should stop being a petulant asshole. It's an easy job. Off the top of my head, I can tell you the parts you need are in component storage, row one, stack B. If you can't find it yourself, ask the requisition android. Just get off my back. Oh my god, guys, row one stack B. Okay. Access tuner. I like the hacking. It's easy for me. Did not like that. And did not like that it'll probably bring our little friend. <laughs> I 
compression cylinder. Components warehouse. Row one, stack B. Follow me. Just keep the noise down, okay? Hurry up, dude. He's about to shock himself. He wasn't the smartest android, was he? I'm kind of just guessing at this. Why is that one shining? So is this one, row one. Right? There it is. Make your way through Seeks and Synthetics to find an alternate way back to the transit where you left Samuels and Taylor. So, we've got to get back here. But the first thing is... Right. But the first thing is we got to fix this stupid elevator.
save it. up there with him. Keep your head together. Okay. You can do it. Can't trust it. Gotta make my own way. I'm going the right way. Personal synthetic engineer requests. Can I get someone from Seeks and Synthetics to look at my android? I've just worked a 24 hour shift helping out with trauma patients and I'm the dentist. Waits wants every one of them moved out of the hospital and no one is telling me anything. If I'm going to be pulling down these kinds of hours, I need some extra help. We've got an android down here with perfectly adequate programming, but he's being gathering. But he's been gathering dust because apparently the same model started acting up on the other side of the station. What the hell is going on at this place? Get someone down here now before I make an official complaint. Fernan Fernandez. Um. Guys? Can't trust anyone. Gotta make my own way. They're still in shock. Synthetic fluid plant control. That's where I'm supposed to go, right? Make your way through seeks and synthetics to find an alternate way back to the transit where you left Samuels and Taylor. Find exit the synthetic fluid plant. Well, if that way is the synthetic fluid plant. And this should be the main lobby, right? Oh, we can open that up. We can read some more. No, we can't. I think we found it. Oh no. <gasps> no. <laughs> I gotta walk up to every door. I don't know if uh, if my heart can take this game. 
they absolutely killed the atmosphere. I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be... Hey. Identify yourself. Ripley, from the Torrens. Relax, kid. What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlow, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight record. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around, and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley? Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go! We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Samuels says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful. Seeing wow. as you screwed up the trap. Yeah, right. We'll talk about that later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone. Understood? Ricardo, get a lock on our radio so we can stay in touch. People here are just like so Walmart. friendly. It's like Walmart. Peachy. We really should hurry. All right, where we gotta Hello. go? Go to transit control. Don't worry, Samuels. We'll get her out of here. All right, just in case, let's go ahead and lock ourselves back in. A freaking dream about this stupid thing. Oh, nope. heart starting to pound again I don't know why that's a blueprint flashbang version 2 what is that noise Gas torch, ion torch, gas torch. Oh! <gasps> 
I know someone's in here. Calm down in there, you android fuck! Wonder what the kids are doing right now. I probably should just smack him in the back of the head. Yes. something I'm looking for. The beating stop. Yep. You shouldn't be here. I think I swear I saw something that said this might work. I feel like I should probably reload and, and smack that guy with my wrench instead of hitting him with the the thing. The stun baton. Ripley, this is Waits. The transits here were waiting on you. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. Okay. Uh. Save it.
I gotta be smarter about that. Like, I probably could have just hit that guy with a stupid wrench, and it would have saved myself a stun baton shot. Restart transit. Listen, you crazy bastard. Do you think that thing gets around in a effing transit car? You're sitting on an override that'll disconnect the transit from Apollo. So effing pull it. You can stop all this bullshit by just pulling a lever. You think you're safer with the transit power down, but we're trapped like rats. For God's sake, help us. Got a heads up for you, jackass. Don't even think about throwing in with Sinclair and the Sikhs and security guys. I told them it was you that killed Morrison. If they see you, they'll shoot on sight. You should have let me join you in your bolt hole. You won't last a week. Now where do I go? I picked up a cutting torch. Wasn't that immersive? Just like that, please. I'd appreciate it. Access. So a full camera feed. We open that room on the far Ripley, side. We heard voices as we left. Watch yourself. Oh boy. This sucks.
Well, that was... That was ugly. You gotta hold that down to reload. I like that. Got three stun baton out of that. Hell yeah, that was worth every penny. <laughs> we got all our rounds back, too. We should probably, uh, heal ourselves, though. Okay, what was so special about this room? We were able to open it. Just a dirty magazine. I mean, there wasn't anything special in that room. Why does this make me so nervous? It's car for Dominus Habitation Tower. Your safety is important to us. Please report all transit malfunctions immediately. Get to the Colonial Marshal Bureau. Station serving the Solomon's Galleria Mall, Colonial Marshal Bureau, and Seeks and Habitation Suites. One hundred percent. Okay. Let's see. We need to turn around. Get to the see, I don't I don't even have no idea. Get to the Colonial Marshall Bureau, we gotta find it. So we just start walking around. Ripley, we're in the Marshal Bureau. Just turn right at the top of the stairs. You can't miss it. No welcome committee? Just get up here. Wait's out. <laughs> wow. They really don't like the Marshals. Waits has a plan. A plan? Really? His fucking plans haven't done us much good so far. Maybe we'll be safe here. For now, anyway. What? Was that you? Did you get the transit running? Nice work. You're very welcome. I'm pretty awesome. Where's Samuels? How's Taylor? Stable. She'll be walking soon enough. Samuels is with her now. Okay. You managed to get transit up and running, so I guess we're even. Where's Ricardo? Prepping our next move. Look, I'm busy. I've got Marlo in the cells, the lowlife who showed up with your flight recorder. Where's Marlo's ship? The Anisadora. He put it in a parking orbit around the gas giant. 
Son of a bitch won't give us the command codes to let us bring it in on auto. Maybe you can get more out of the unhelpful bastard. Go talk to him. All right, Marlo. That's Taylor. Sexy little fox. Oh, here he is. <laughs> the zone. That's a good addition. Look at this dude. Marlo? Who wants to know? My name's Ripley. I'm with the company. Here for your empty box already? You guys are keen. I'll give you that. I'm here for personal reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. You serious? Shit. Well. Shit. We never found her ship, Ripley. Just the recorder. But you sure as hell found something else. What happened out there? I need a way out of here, Ripley. Maybe we can make a deal. Just start talking. I want to know everything. Dang. Come check. You get me, Lewis? A little fuzzy, Marlo, but you're coming through. Let's take it slow. I want to get to that beacon in one piece. If you're looking for a piece faster, I've got something for you right here. I'd need scanning equipment to find it, Heist. <laughs> okay, enough already. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. Careful with what you touch. I don't want anything damaged. It's amazing. How old must this be? What is it? A cockpit? And make this a ship. Ha <laughs> ha! I think we found our payload. Hey, quiet! What? You think we're gonna wake him? Hey, sorry, pal. Can it! We're wasting time. Have a look around. No, no. It's a life form. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. We need to stake our claim before anyone else does. And hey, Isadora is not prepared for something this big. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around, see what else is here. How long? We found something. Tracks. Tracks? It looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. You're not gonna like this. What is it? The tracks lead here. Same name that's on the flight recorder. How strong. Someone's already been there. Maybe they abandoned ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit! Well, if they were here before us, why is there no record of this place? Well, if they're still alive, there goes our salvage. Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Stop broadcasting. Marlo, you have got to see this. It's amazing. On my way.
want to know more. Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, then you need to get me out of here. Not happening, Marlow. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait. My board in the text fire just lit up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. Got something here you'll need. That's flipping awesome, man. What an amazing story. What a way to tie in the freaking movie. Oh, <gasps> yes. Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. Okay. Let's... I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Sistech Spire. I'll coordinate from here. Go to Lorenz Sistech Spire. Great. We gotta go back? Ripley, you on your way? Yeah. Ricardo's moving in ahead of you. I've sent your guy Samuels to Android Processing. Once this thing's dead, I'm gonna get him to access Apollo and lift the lockdown. Samuel's okay doing that? Guy said he wanted to help and I have my hands full here. Besides, he's a synthetic. Should be easier for him to get in there. I guess. Look, Ripley, we're the only people standing between Sevastopol and outright disaster. Outright disaster has already happened, Waits. All we can do now is kill that fucker. Yeah. Scheme Tower for the Sistex Spire. Sistex Spire. I feel like I've been here already. Oh my god, guys. This episode is going to be fantastic, dude. We got everything. We got freaking gunfights and nostalgia. The perfect tie-in to the very first movie. Really good movie. Big car for the rent sister expire. I'm in the Sistex fire. Ripley, heads up. I'm reading lots of malfunctioning systems in your area. That's fantastic. All right, where do we need to go? Get to the server hub. back up this way. Alright, I can't get cocky because I have this flipping flamethrower. Holy shysta!
flashlight batteries. I mean, there's way too much electricity going on here for that. Wait, what's wrong with this station? It's always been falling apart, but because of the decommission, a lot of the systems have been shut down. Add to the fact that everyone's too busy trying to stay alive to maintain anything, and you end up with goddamn chaos. Oh. They sound nice. They don't have guns. Or at least he doesn't. Did something back there just explode? That's the least of your problems. The creatures nearby. Oh. You heard the lady. Let's go. Yeah, you want to get out of here? I'm nervous, like I don't want to talk to nobody every time I do, someone shoots at me. Marie, listen to me very carefully. I want you to leave work now. Collect Claire, pick up the cat, and head home. We need to find some place safe till Seeks and send a ship. I saw the guy from down the hall. I can't remember his name. The one in the dirty baseball cap, weird smell. He had something in his coat. I think it was a gun. He just looked right through me. Don't talk to anyone. Don't tell them where you're going. I'll meet you as soon as I can. Okay. Now where are we at? Get to the server hub. Like, I don't even know how to do that. Unless that's like, I don't know, back down in here, maybe. Wait, the creature. How are we going to seal it in? The Spire was built to process high-value compounds dredged up from the gas giant. Piracy precautions are still in place. The tower can be shut off, vents, doors, everything. So, you build a cage around the creature, then Ricardo locks it down. That sounds like an awful idea. Server hub. Entrance is dead ahead. Use the terminal in reception to open the door. Okay. Pointless request, hardware problems. These people have been told Savant's to pulls due for the scrap heap, right? I just got a message from Elison and Seeks and Accounts. Can we fix the hand dryer in the restroom? Can we hell? Next time one of those bullshit requests comes through, send them right back. We're about to strip this place. We're about to strip this place out, not patch it up. Expect an order from off station that should have arrived by now. I usually get it several a week. But there's nothing. Can someone check my comms unit? Can't afford to lose this business. All right. There. An uncertain future. Seekson has now cut its losses and is set to abandon Savantstopol. This is yet another sign of the retrenchment that is rife throughout the sector. Some days it is felt as if corporate pride was the only thing keeping this trouble station in orbit above KG-348. 
Living aboard the station today is abundantly clear that Seekson has gambled wildly with both its own investment and that of banking corps such as Geofund Investor. The ill-judged rush into space colonization, its hubris, and its overexpansion have cost our second-tier corporations dearly. Wayland Utani, with his extensive financial and technological firepower, can weather these storms while its lesser rivals fall away. Even the company, however, must hear alarm bells ringing as it looks towards these fading orbital outposts. Whiskey Yank's ongoing investment in terraforming research technology looks increasingly shrewd as it watches each of these distant lights blink out. Ricardo's finalizing the lockdown. You need to close the security doors all around the stairwell, then the supply storage, maintenance access, and server hub reception. Report in as you go. Oh, okay. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Pleasure's all mine, sir. Thank you for not having glowing red eyes. Okay. So we've got to... We've got to seal all this off. I don't really know what that looks like. I barely even use my flashlight. Your presence has been loved. <laughs> I thought he said your presence has been loved. <laughs> Good day. Alright, server hub. To the camp group, we can't keep a full guard 24-7, but with the volunteer lookouts and the Spire's existing security systems, we can keep it watertight. From this point onward, we don't raise the security shutters for anyone, and all supply runs have to go through me. We can get through this, guys. Thompson. Don't know how much longer I can take this. It's cramped and dirty, and the trash is starting to rot. I don't even know if we're really safe here. Carter and Thompson came back from their recons last week with a couple of guns and I'm starting to see a different side to some of the people here. Maybe that woman, Winters, was right. Who's Winters? I'm recording this for anyone <laughs> else who was away when it happened. I can't tell who escaped. There are some boys, but the others were taken through the van. Through the lockdown. One by one. The doors were locked, but the ceiling vents were open. There was no way to run and no one to let them out. It was like a fox dropping into a hen house. I should move on. There's a couple of survivors who still trust the marshal in the mall. And then there's a Sinclair and his idiot man. Grunt. Somewhere in habitation. But I doubt either will last the week. Let's do this lockdown. Maintenance access shut off. Oh, well, that's a good thing we walked in there. Okay, so that's one, right? We gotta seal off the stairwell. Why not ask me about Sebastopol's safety protocols? Because I've seen your safety protocols.
God, dude, my heart is freaking pumping. That thing starts moving around. You have no idea where it's coming from. All right. It took her, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. First, it tore through Doug. Then it cut Liam in half and threw him aside like a rag doll. Then it cornered Emma. I was in the shadows, and it didn't see me. Emma was calling for me, calling for help, but I couldn't move. I was too scared. I let it take her, but I'm going to find her. If you find this, arm yourself. Coward. Oh god. Oh. Oh my god. Hurry up. Supply storage locked down. Okay. You see that? Okay. Okay. That dude was in the flipping vents, man. That turned yellow or white or blue or whatever. I'm, I'm freaking, I'm not doing good. Seven seven eight nine. Hughes, it's Ransom. I just got your query. Yes, I have been in our transmission relay archive and I've done some decrypting. I'm it's still for crew logs that passed through Sevastopol a while ago. I know you're concerned, but it's ancient history. It's just some stuff I need to know. A routine company transmission packet oh. sent from the edge of Thetis before a ship started its trip home. If you talk, well, there'll be consequences. There's plenty Marie doesn't know, right? Leave them decoding and let me know when they're done. We can keep this civil. I want a safe spot. That's what I want. You are carrying some very dangerous items. Hell yeah, I am. I'll set up an emergency shutdown in the terminal inside the phone You need to trigger it from there and get out. I'll keep your exit open until you're through. Then shut the trap. Dude, I didn't hear a word you just said because this thing freaking dropped down on top of me.
Oh my god. Lock down the server farm. Okay. So we're trying to lock this thing in here. I don't see that going too well. Server controls locked. That looks locked. She making that noise. USCSS Nostromo. He can't come down in here.
Yep. Is my exit open? Wait a minute. Ricardo, is my exit clear? Jesus, he's shocked. It won't move. What are you doing, Ricardo? Fix it. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry, Ricky. I'm working on it. Okay. Freaking mouth is dry. I think that's it, enemies nearby. <laughs> up into the lobby. Okay. Of course, there's flipping people in here. And they start shooting, it comes. Oh, God bless it, you sack of shit. Pretty sure he shot just got eaten. Damn.
God. Shotgun shells. Why does that have... No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, I'm almost got completely lost. 